but we have experience. We've worked with customers that have taken literally technology from World War II with manual drill presses and converted them into using Fanuc robo drills with our job shop cells. Welcome to Machine Fest 2023. We're here in Sudbury, Massachusetts at the Methods Machine Tool facility. We're going to talk, talk about something that's really close to Methods' heart. It's automation. Um, now, Zach, the product line here looks so slick. You might comment, but this thing kind of product does not just grow out of the ground out of nowhere. You must have been doing this for a long time, right? Yes, we have. We've been doing automation for a little over 15 years now. Um, on our biggest product line, as you can see, the Fanuc Robo Drill, this is what we've started to standardize with. So we've taken about 15 years of experience and bundled them into some standard packages for our customers. And what's the biggest problem you've had to solve over those 15 years? Really, it's been how do you take a process that a customer is doing every day and implement that into something that can be automated, making sure that the process is stable and uh, you don't run into issues as you're loading one part after another. So we've developed a lot of standard options and accessories for the Fanuc Robo Drills and some of our other machine lines that make it really easy to automate and really easy to implement that type of technology into the machines. And what lessons have you learned over those 15 years trying to solve that problem, as well as having all the standard options? I mean, what have you learned from customers' processes every single day? Uh, the biggest thing is no customer is the same. Uh, every customer you go into, you're going to see a different problem. But a lot of those cu customers do have issues with chips in their machine tools. So how do we get the chips out of the machine so we know that the robot's going to load a consistent part every single time? So especially with the Fanuc Robo Drill, we've developed a lot of options, like you can see on that machine, the bed flush system, spindle air blow, table air blow, um, that helps get those chips out of the way. And that's the only consistent problem we face. Yeah, because the beautiful thing about humans, we're very flawed, but we can still see some chips on them fly so we can blow it off when we exactly. need to, but the robot can't do that, Exactly. I guess it's quite comforting for a customer to know that you've been solving these problems for 15 years now and they're taking their first steps into automation. Is there anything else you can do apart from explain your heritage to customers to help them make that first leap? Yeah, one of the first things I like to do with our sales team is go on site, visit the customer. Uh, if we can see what their operators are doing today, I guarantee we're going to find a solution to what they're doing and be able to automate it. Um, for instance, you know, you walk into some customers, You'll see them load a part into a manual vise and then they'll beat it with a hammer, right? <laughs> uh, robots won't do that, so we have to find another solution. But we've run across that enough times now that we have answers to those types of questions. And this is a big technological leap for those who've not, who maybe are interested in automation but have never tried on the shop floor, maybe have tried it and been burned before. How can you convince those people that it's definitely worth the investment and it's not going to be as scary as they think? Uh, but we have experience. We've worked with customers that have taken literally technology from World War II with manual drill presses and converted them into using Fanuc Robo Drills with our job shop cells. Um, but we've also gone to shops where they have some of our newer five axis machine equipment and they're like, hey, we want to be able to make this a little bit easier to use, a little bit more user friendly and make it so that it can run unattended. Um, so they already have the knowledge of the machine side, we're just helping them on the automation. And I guess the beautiful thing about off-the-shelf products is there's, there's not really much customization needed and there's a lot of options in the range. No, there's not much customization needed. So we've developed a lot of standard products for our customers. The Job Shop Cell Pro system, this is kind of a sneak peek for this unit, um, made to 10 medium to high volume parts. The Plus K60 system, that is really meant for low volume, high mix product lines. And then the system down the far right, the Plus E system, that's meant for medium to high volume as well. Yeah. And what I love about this is actually you've got a rotary table here as well, so it's not just three axis automation, full five axis as well. It absolutely is, and that can just help increase the versatility for our customers. So automation is in their heart and their soul. This is Methods Machine Tools, off-the-shelf systems. Check them out if you want to improve your productivity.